YouTube, it's Zion Prepper here, and I'm going to talk about seed saving, specifically cucumbers. There you see my cucumbers. And as I always talk about, the experience is one I didn't have, but it's a skill that I know I needed, so I went ahead and did it. Here, you see I picked cucumbers that, are, that have been on the vine for a while, and uh, they're about not to rot, but about to fall off. The only two things you need is a knife, a spoon, and four glasses with, you can see how small those glasses are, only about a quarter of that glass is full of water, that's it. So you simply cut the cu cucumber in half and then split it in half, as you can see, you see the seeds. Take your spoon and simply scrape those seeds out into that water. That's just water, there's nothing added to it. And what you're looking to do is you're looking to get all that, the seeds, or as many as you can, you can see I kind of miss a few, into that water and I'm going to do that with the other half as well and what I'm doing there is um, I'm getting the seeds that are floating on top out of the water the good seeds will always go to the bottom of the glass the bad seeds will float to the top and so in this case I'm simply scooping them out placing them into um, the part of the cucumber that I will compost now, you can see I'm doing that with a different type of cucumber. That's one from India, the orange ones, but they have a lot of seeds, those ones do. And I'm showing you up close here what I'm doing, and you can see the seeds that are floating on top, and um, I'm just simply scooping them out and throwing them away. And pretty straightforward. Now, you gotta let it ferment. So what I do is I take mine and I set it on my desk of my garage for about two to four days depending on uh, how my schedule is and you get this the seeds have to ferment there's a protective layer around the seeds that prevent them from um, seeding in in the fall or spring so you got to get that removed and fermentation also helps to keep the seed healthy now what I'm doing this is two or three days later as I'm taking the pulp out that there was some and I'm taking any seeds that are that have floated to the top out as well so this is after it's set in my garage. I had the water, put the seeds in, and I had it set in my garage for about anywhere from two to four days. I've done it and it didn't matter, two or four days, okay? And then once I have that out, I pour the seeds from the glass into a strainer. And you can see I'm reaching for the, um, the spray nozzles there. And I'm just simply taking lukewarm water and I'm spraying the seeds just to remove any residue that might be on those seeds. Um, and I'm not spending a lot of time on it, but you do want them kind of clean because you're going to package them after they've dried. All right, so got that done. And there you go, close up, uh, close up picture of how many seeds have come out of that cucumber. And you can see it's not a whole lot. And then I take those seeds and I happen to have a screen out of one of my windows because I have an air conditioning unit in it, in it. Set it out there and I let it dry, I don't know, one to two days, depending on the temperature. And you'll know they're ready when you pick them up and they, you just try to snap them in half and they do real easily. All right, my seeds are dry. Now what I do is I store them in a Capri Sun juice box that my kids drink. I did a video on that. I'm going to post a link on how to store medicine and seeds in a juice box. They are Mylar. So you got to remember, Mylar is what we store our food in typically. And what I do is I store them in there and I put an oxygen, uh, oxygen absorber on there and I seal it with uh, iron and then I put it in the freezer to store until I'm ready to use it the following year. Your seeds will last probably up to five to ten years depending on your storage conditions. So uh, Zion Prepper saying thanks for watching and I hope this added